What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and we are doing another Champions Path Break. Today we're opening up 30 packs, uh, or three ETBs for two of our patrons. We got one ETB for Eric and two for T. Uh, boy, real quick, this is from our first break, so I busted it out of the plastic, and uh, I was checking for the card quality, and this has like a crimp on it. Now, I do think that's pretty cool, but I have to imagine it doesn't exactly help things if they're getting graded um like i suppose there's no way to prove that this is like from the factory as opposed to i don't know i'm not sure how easy it would be to crimp your own card but uh, i thought that was kind of cool although it looks pretty good i think there's a couple a little bit of whitening on the corners um but yeah i thought that was interesting i'm not sure if anyone else experienced that uh but i did see that there's a lot of uh quality concerns for these promos but uh let's get started First, we're going to do our ETB for Eric. And reminder, we do have a Patreon, and um, this is where how you do sign up for those breaks. And even with the so Patreon, it does cost a little bit per month, but uh, even just picking up two ETBs, you do end up saving at like an MSRP price. So forty dollars per ETB, and here we go. One thing I haven't done was uh, kind of acknowledge the sweet sleeves that this thing comes with now where's the let's take this thing out first all right now eric did say well, let's just open it so ooh, the centering looks pretty good just to get in there all right let's see how this looks uh, I see a little bit of whitening on the top, this corner, a little bit more. So definitely not perfect. I'm um, guessing this wouldn't get the 10. I'm, I think, feel like this is a very like strong 9 maybe. But we will grab a penny sleeve for it nonetheless. Alright, let's grab these really cool sleeves. And let's get into these 10 packs. So someone on Discord did... Um, mentioned that uh you know take a look at the the centering and when packs come or etbs come from online vendors maybe they're having more centering issues compared to ones that the people finding at stores and our opening yesterday did seem to have pretty good centering uh but those were from the store so this is from the online vendor and we'll kind of see if that holds true so pack number one we got Machop, Purloin, Scraggy, a Ekans is our first reverse into just a Hatterny. You know, for a very small set, this thing is uh, so hyped. And uh, but given was it 70 something cards, like just so many dupes uh, in the in the rare slot. Again, not surprising. And as of this morning, taking a look at TCG Player, looks like the Zards are about like, what, between five and 600, just a Marnie here. Actually, just take a look at the centering. Uh, yeah, so definitely, or oh, it's unclear, we want to get like Ultra Rare better first, but uh, the centering isn't great top to bottom. So maybe there is some truth to that statement. But we did get some more ETBs in today. So definitely, if uh, you do want to sign up for a break, check out the link down below to our Patreon page and get signed up. These ETBs um, do have a good amount for breaks, so I do expect it to last a little bit. Like and rock. Ooh, Duraludon. I feel like I sometimes struggle to say this, but pretty interesting card. Remind. It's very reminiscent of Center Scorch, but just has an additional energy cost. Um, but I don't know. Yes, yeah, compared to Zacian, I feel like Zacian is just better, hits harder. You do have to worry about switching and stuff. This thing does have the plus uh, 30 for defense and stuff. Maybe, I wonder how this would play like in a luck metal kind of thing. Now let's take a look at the centering. And yeah, top to bottom in the same exact way. It looks like it's just kind of shifted up. So not great centering. But uh, let me get one of these sleeves out. All right, we got our first hit. And let's keep going. All 
Uh, so if you're watching this on the day this video is published, uh, so PWCC, kind of like a eBay store, is doing their wave of monthly wave of Pokemon cards. And the reason I'm mentioning is I do think it's worth checking out. I'll put a link in the description to basically this month's offerings. And I don't know, potentially, maybe since Champions Pat just came out and everyone's so focused on that, and maybe people's wallets are hurting from buying, you know, all the pre-orders and stuff. I don't know, maybe there's some good deals to be had. Uh, I, I always take a shot at it every month, and lately I haven't been winning too many auctions. But, um, I don't know. Maybe it's worth checking out. I'll put a link down below. It seems like someone that is a huge fan of Rayquaza is kind of like selling off his collection. There are so many of them. So, check it out if you're interested. Let's see. All right. Finally getting in some of my PSA returns. Um, and I'm really excited to show them to you guys. I'll probably do the first return video maybe tomorrow. And uh, the, the hint uh, slash, you know, bait is the first one is only going to feature two cards, but it's uh, among the hop again, the most desirable cards in the hobby. So, and I am timing it with the PWCC auction because uh, there are a couple copies available on PWCC and I want to kind of see at the same grade, I want to see where those land as far as price goes. All right, we do have a hop. I do like the art, don't like the card, and hop himself is kind of annoying. And once again, that same centering issue, slightly shifted upwards, put you in here. Eric, if you do want to get any of these graded, just let me know. I suppose I would prefer like a hop over, what was the other one, Kabu? But I think Kabu is just a rainbow, right? Okay, so this set, it does feel like it has a pretty good pull rate, but unfortunately, the pull rate for the Charizard seems to be all over the place. Some people get in them pretty easily, other people are really struggling, but I guess I suppose that's always the case. Galarian Otsukun, this is a very interesting card. And I we did have a report on a Discord of someone opening an ETB and there being no promo. That is devastating. I think these things are going for like $35 when it comes out of a $50 ETB, 40 for these breaks. So my condolences and uh, yeah, if you happen to be the super lucky um, person that gets double, like oh my. All right, uh, Altaria, very cool card. A stage one version of the Sidui. Looks like we're winding down on the packs. Got a potion. Rock rough. Very cute. Trubbish. A nicket. Full heal into a, another Marnie. Dupe Central over here. Alright, last pack. Let's get one more hit. So what is this? If we don't gain them one of five. If we do, it's like one of three. Three and three and a third. All right, here we go. And I suppose definitely like the way to go with this set is obviously the ETB, just because you start at a very nice hit with that Charizard. And we just have a Scrafty. So EMC or Eric, we did find a Hop and a Duraldon, but I guess the biggest prize would be this Charizard V. Uh, I feel like the center is pretty good. I see a little bit of edge wear on the corners. So let me just clean up and we'll get into our opening for T. All right, let's get into box number two. This one is for T. T, thanks for sponsoring this opening. I had to jump on a quick work call for in between boxes. But um, so T gave us special instructions. Let's leave one promo sealed and one to open. Um, so I don't know too much about grading the sealed cards, but actually from watching some of the TCA videos, I believe it's the actual packet itself and less so about the card. So if we can see any kind of edgeware from here, I suppose we could um, 
or whatever the one looks nicer in the plastic. We'll keep that one wrapped. But here are our 10 packs. Just make sure. Wait a minute, are we short? What? Oh, oh. <laughs> it's right here. Okay. All right. Almost freaked out there. Let's get these out. And here we go. We'll compare the two promos and pick the which one will open in a second. Or when we get into the second box. Here we go. Still looking for our first Zard. And um, yeah, Prelim, as the prices of right now, seems like favoring the rainbow slightly. But it's close enough to, you know, either one it could still win the battle. All right, for pack number one, we got a Absol. That is a super vanilla card. And to send a Scorch, I don't know, number 20 by now. Reminder, if you're looking for some codes, check out our Twitch streams. We'll be doing marble giveaways throughout. All right. Seen all these cards many times at this point. Rotom phone into Hatterney. Wow, this pack is like disintegrating. Alright. Weedle to another snake. Carvana Pokeball. Potion, Lanoon, into a Zygarde. As far as like anyone that likes to create, you know, master sets, um, obviously there'll be some chase cards, but all of like the commons, uncommons, even even like regular hollow rares, I imagine that'll be a very easy to put together. In fact, you probably don't have to open too much product to manually build it out. All right, let's see. And uh, one thing I'm interested in finding out over time is, you know, the ratio between uh, kind of like pulling those V maxes uh, compared to like the rainbow. Um, I feel like a couple of people have mentioned like they they pull like one Gardevoir and like oh my gosh, this packs and like three three Dreadnoughts, <laughs> but no Charizard, which I can sympathize when you have them pulling those kind of ratios. Alright, Turfield, Milo, Scraggy, the Goon, Scizipede, Pokeball, Inkay, a Purloin, into a Whale Lord. We pulled one of these for T already, hoping to get something different for him. Let's take a look at centering. Ah, this one's pretty close. Not the, uh, not the hit we're looking for, though. Let's grab one of these sleeves for it. So at least we didn't get shut out. We got the Charizard, of course, and a Whale Lord. Looks like we're halfway through this box. The shout out to DJ on Discord. Um, yeah, I imagine this is what you're talking about, where like the packs just disintegrate and maybe have some centering issues. Don't know too much about like the ones that are kind of like stocked for Walmart and such, if those are kind of like printed a different facility, therefore like might have different quality issues. Alright, seen all you cards many times. I think we can actually start skipping the commons at this point, seeing all of them. Kabu into Centiscorch. All right, we're gonna go uncommons right into the reverse. No pack trick required anymore. Oh wait, nope, these are uncommons. All right, we got a reverse Psychic Energy. The first one I've seen of these, and I do like these reverse energies. Into a Zygarde. this plus two and then just go like that. Alright, uncommons only. 
Malamar into Hyper Potion. Can and a another hat in a come on. Alright, last pack for ETB number one for T. Malamar again. <laughs> Victini, Nitic into just a Marnie. So that was a pretty weak ETB. Let's grab our last one for this video. Yeah, so as far as our champion's path breaks going, uh, I feel like we're off to a slow start on the channel, but uh, it only takes one hit to go from like, all right, this is from from slow start to godly pace. So we just have to hit one of those two cards. And let's take a look at the promo. All right, so comparing these two, uh, yeah, I suppose let's open this one. And inside, actually, let's take a look at the centering. Kind of hard to tell, to be honest. I think I'm going to open this one, this crease, I imagine, versus this one looks pretty clean with that fold. So let's open this one, see what we're looking at as far as any kind of edge wear. It's kind of difficult for me to tell through the plastic. Like, I didn't even notice at the, our first opening that the card had a crimp in it. Alright, so actually this looks, eh, maybe there's a little nick or two in that corner. Kind of hard to see, a little bit on this side, but uh, yeah, maybe just a little bit all over the place. Centering doesn't look too bad though. Put you in a penny sleeve. All right, let's keep going. 10 more packs. All right, that opened a little bit better. All right, Hyper Potion. Some canned food, Rotom Bike, full heal. Into a Gardevoir VMAX. Okay, pretty happy with that. As far as like any non-Charizard V, definitely Gardevoir would be my preference. Let's take a look. Ooh. Yeah, a little uh, off-center. Left to right, a little bit top to bottom as well. We'll put this in here just in case. T wants to get this graded. And let's just keep going. And um, let's see. Also, for the month of October, we'll actually be offering... Hidden Fates tins as well. I uh, did pick up some in the most recent reprints, and I figure we can have a sale going for patrons fifteen dollars a tin. So versus like the regular price, which would have been twenty. And it did go back in stock at Target. Uh, I'm not sure how long it lasts because I was kind of uh, already had my orders in. But if you are looking for those, my recommendation would be just go to the Target website, log in, go to those pages and say, notify me when this becomes in stock, and then download the app, sign in on the app. That way you get a notification when they have more stock and you can try to snag it before everyone else. Lanoon to a Marnie. So I would say this one is off to a better start than that first ETB with that Gardevoir. All right, Nurse Joy, my choke. Still really like this art. Malamar Weedle to another Zygarde. So I definitely have noticed those centering issues that TJ on Discord was talking about. And then a Machamp. This art kind of reminds me of the Machamp in the Detective Pikachu art. It's very different. That's the one where he's like kind of like directing traffic. Uh, but something about his stance just reminds me of that card. 
All right, come on. Let's get some fire, if you know what I mean. But yeah, super excited to have some PSA return videos. Those, that's been a long time in the making. And, oh, Incineroar, first one we've seen of him. Uh, I kind of like the art, and I'm not a huge fan of Incineroar. Grand Flame, 90 damage, attach up to two fire energy cards from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Hmm, I like that. And then Flare, Blitzer, 220. This Pokemon also does 30 damage to itself. And this center is not perfect, but I feel like it's not as bad as some of the other ones. I think we'll put you in a regular sleeve for now. All right, so I have some packs remaining. And for anyone that, you know, kind of was unsuccessful in their trips on release day, reminder, uh, it's going to happen again this week for some of the new products. I think they got two of the five pack boxes uh, with, I think they're like represent two different gyms, each of them. So there, right, let's go at it again and uh, keep fingers crossed that we find some ETBs as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to go out again. Spent, uh, yeah, the, the amount that we found for the amount of time I spent driving around didn't really feel worth, uh, didn't feel worth it, although it was kind of cool. Um, kind of like just driving around to thrill the hunt, I guess. Yeah, turf field, Rodum phone. Ooh, I do like that energy. And then our first turtle. We got Dreadnaw. Uh, solid shell, 30 damage, less damage from attack, powerful bites. Can't retreat. Eh, not too impressed by this card. But we will take it. Yes, not a. Not a Dreadnaw's not too bad, but Trudel. Oh, Trudel's so weird. And we got a reverse water energy. Yeah, I feel like these reverse energies just pop a lot more than compared to the hidden face ones. All right, last pack for this opening. So we did find a Gardevoir, but that's probably the best hit into Centiscorch number 20. All right, so for T, we got a Gardevoir Dreadnought. Incineroar, Whale Lord, and then two Charizards. So hit ratio was at one per five packs, and then plus two reverse energies. Um, I mean, it's probably about the same as a, a regular set booster box for one of these specialty sets. It feels a little light, but uh, anyway, guys, thanks for sponsoring this opening, Eric and T. Um, and hope to do another one for you in the near future. We're offering, uh, basically you can pick up two ETBs per month. So that will extend into just a couple days from now when October starts. And, uh, yeah, as always guys, thanks for watching. Do me a favor, hit that like button and, uh, yeah, I'm Wanna Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time.